We have two areas of main concern, at least that we have eyes on. One of them is, is that uh, Davidson Mesa Trailhead, where Kyle Clark is. The other one is that aerial view we have of the Rock Creek subdivision, which is, uh, has hundreds and hundreds of homes. Mm -hmm. And now what we've seen is what was outside of that subdivision fire appears to be fire inside of the subdivision. So we're going to be checking on those situations in just a few minutes. We want to get to Angeline McCall, who is in Superior, um, an area that they've seen these evacuations for a few hours, and um, uh, large facilities and malls and everything else being evacuated. And uh, you've seen the fire, and I can see fire right behind your shoulder, your right shoulder. Yeah, you know, we've driven all around this area, and you can find fire anywhere, but this is growing very quickly. This was not on fire right there, that big, hatch that was not on fire just about 30 seconds ago further back you can't see the homes because of how much smoke there is but those homes are also on fire there's a fence there that fence is also on fire we are in superior not far from the mall and it is absolutely heartbreaking this is home after home after home and i can say after being out here for several hours now this is actually the worst wind that we've experienced in this specific area i'm not sure what it is about it but it's just blowing right through and it's really picking this up i'm actually i'm gonna like i'm gonna uh, go back to you guys i think we're gonna move out of this grass because i'm not this is moving pretty quick yeah we so, were saying uh, time to go Tom and Kim, time to go yeah you, you and tom yeah, cole to pack go. up yep. get to some safety and uh we will uh We'll check back with you from a safe place in a few minutes. That's seconds. That was seconds that we saw that fire. It's so fast. Kyle Clark has been watching this happen over at Davidson Mesa at Trailhead, and uh, he joins us again now. Kyle? Hey, Tom. Uh, as Angeline said, these are in the last couple of hours we had what felt like about 50 miles per hour sustained uh, just a little bit ago and it's it's changed the direction of the fire and it's pushed it up north a little bit so we are at Washington and McCaslin in, in Louisville where uh, the fire is moving through a neighborhood of fairly closely packed homes and what we've seen now is uh, the winds are pushing the fire back up closer to Harper Lake and towards our position. Photojournalist Chris Hansen can give you a look uh, at where the fire has pushed from the homes that are burning to the south right up to the end, uh, the southern edge of Harper Lake. So there are homes now that are flanked on three sides by fire uh, and, and the wind is, is gusting in excess of 50 miles per hour. We're going to wrap things up here and we're going to move to the north. Uh, this is a very bad situation for this neighborhood and for all of those neighborhoods to the south of here down near Cold Creek Golf Course towards the Avista Hospital as things have taken a bad turn here in the last five to ten minutes. All right, get moving. Uh, stay safe. That uh, Cold Creek Golf Course was where Angeline had been earlier and now you worry about some of these separate fires obviously joining and becoming a little stronger even if if they can get stronger. Uh, Noel Brennan again is uh, above the Rock Creek subdivision where things uh, have, have really looked bad the last time we checked in. Noel, give us an update. Yeah, Tom, every so often we'll see little pockets of fire pop up behind us. And as Kyle was talking about that really strong wind gust, I think we felt it too. Certainly very, very strong, almost knocked us both off our feet. Uh, you do see in the tents, uh, and again, photojournalist Mike Grady, will have a better view of it than I will, but there is a that is very, very close to homes in the Rock Creek subdivision here. I can't tell from my vantage point if any homes have caught, but it looks mostly just like the grass and trees that have been torching. But it is dangerously close to the homes that we've been watching for the past several hours. We have seen emergency vehicles, a line of emergency vehicles, move uh, through the area and it's it's difficult to tell if they're going uh to where we are currently seeing the flames out here but we're also noticing a, a change in the smoke color again it has turned darker it has turned blacker and when we see that we know that the fire is moving through some heavier fuels and so that is something that we have noticed uh, since we've uh, been out here particularly in the last half hour or so and the winds 
we have also noticed Tom and Kim uh, just in the past few minutes have gotten significantly stronger. Uh, photojournalist Mike Grady is, is struggling to be on his feet right now and to keep the camera steady and that is certainly not good news uh, for the flames that we're seeing that are just being pushed closer uh, to the subdivision that we are watching uh, right now just covered in smoke. Uh, this is just difficult to watch. Yeah, and that, I, I'm and looking shift at in wind, really, a couple of different pockets of fire behind me. Yeah, you do. You have more. I, when you think about it, this has all been within the last 15 to 20 minutes where these gusts have really picked up and moved into Rock Creek. And we've also seen the change in Louisville. Yeah, that, that's uh, seen just to the right of what Mike was showing us just a second ago, panning a little right. You just see the, the flames animating as soon as any wind oh. hits them. And, you know, there's that human nature, that defiance that, that you know, we'll, we'll, we'll handle this. But there's also uh, this feeling of inevitability with this wind unrelenting, Helpless continuing feeling. to drive the fires and, uh, it, it just it just gets to you because you watch it and you um, watch it and you see it. it continue to make its way and and there's seemingly not not much that that can stop it that can prevent this from continuing uh, to spread and grow and um, as soon as anything settles down something else starts up as soon as anything settles down the wind picks continues. it up and lifts it and gets it going again and there we see some water being poured uh, in that area again the rock creek subdivision um, kyle has talked about this from up at davidson mesa you see all of this property all of this land all of these homes and they have value but your real hope is that the evacuation orders were taken seriously that people were able to effectively uh, get out because uh, this has been a life-threatening situation for nearly five hours now and it continues to be one and may even be more of one now than it was at any point in the past five hours.